One of the most surprising things that I had in terms of online courses at UCF was honestly how seamless things were. Almost every single class here at UCF has some level of online component, so going from a in-person class with online components to a fully online class didn't really feel super different. I think in a general sense, something that any incoming student regarding online courses should know is that you shouldn't be freaked out by it. If your high school or any other educational institution that you went through beforehand had no semblance of online classes, you're going to figure things out pretty quickly in this case here. The platform, it's really user friendly, so you can jump right in and just get started. And I really appreciated not having to troubleshoot that as well. What surprised me about taking classes online at UCF is the ease and the access to both faculty and to my coaches and peers. I have enjoyed learning online ever since COVID when classes that I, were t that I was taking in classroom settings went hybrid to online and I never thought that I would be an online learner, but so far I really enjoyed the experience. After everything has been said and done, we've done this emergency transition, we've started a transition back. When it comes to online classes and things that students should expect with those, I often have to consider, all right, this is a case where I'm not going to be able to just see an instructor directly. I'm gonna to have to be making sure I can get a hold of them via web courses mail, their own email, or whatever method they prefer. I even had a couple that were like, yeah, just text me. The web courses at UCF calendar, that thing is absolutely vital for an online class. So utilizing the calendar and actually setting scheduled times, for me as a student who's also an employee, I need to actually physically block out these certain periods of saying this period is for a class, this period is for work, and this period is when I'm trying to figure out homework and all this period is for my leisure time. Hi, I'm, I'm needing your help. I'm having trouble with this question about return on investment. The key to maintaining clear communication with your online professors is upfront email questions, web course, if you are unclear about something. They also usually have virtual office hours that are blocked out so you know you can contact them at those times too, which is much different than the live platform where you would see them in a classroom setting. Awesome. I'll try that. Thank you so much. Excel is not my friend. I believe the primary expectation that students should have when it involves their online courses is being self-sufficient and advocating for self when it comes to accessing their information online, using the resources that are available, and being very diligent and disciplined in checking on their work consistently. There's so many resources out there, even if I'm not aware of it, I'm constantly getting information regarding resources. And that's what I use to strategize my success as an online student. So this is my second master's degree at UCF. The first one was in person. It was for my nurse practitioner degree. And I enjoyed that one, but this one is so much more user friendly. The primary choice for me choosing online exclusively is really convenience and efficiency. So it's just been a real nice transition to the online platform. I shove off to work and my husband will drop the kids off at school. This allows me to be able to go to work early so I can leave work early and help with them when they get home after. At work, I'm full hands-on, have to be attentive to the patients, help take care of the tiny babies in the neonatal ICU. If I have time during lunch, I'll try to sneak online, check out the web courses, see if there's been any announcements. It's really convenient to have the mobile app as well to check your grades, see how the progress is going. And then when I get home, it's check on the kids, help them with their homework, get the dinners ready, and then help them with baths and going to bed. And then I'm thinking about school again and what needs to be done to get the week complete. It's just really nice to be able to have that flexibility or else school would not be an option for me. Some of the textbooks are available through the web courses. That's really convenient. You don't have to buy them. You don't have to carry them around. They actually offer a discount through the web course. So that's really easy to utilize, jump back and forth between the web course material and the text. The best aspects of the online courses have been the instructors, the professors. You really get access to people who are living it and doing it in the real world. And that's been invaluable. Thank you so much for joining. Yeah, of course. My strategies for success with the online courses 
is to really dig into your groups and get to know the other students that you're taking the courses with. They're now your friends, you're connected with them so they can help you and be a resource. So it's the best way to really connect with somebody because it's a virtual platform. We support each other. Because of the online learning, not having preset times for you to quote unquote attend classes, it's allowed me to work it into my existing schedules as far as work, family obligations. And so I gravitated to that style of learning because again, it fit right into my life. One of the best aspects of my online learning and how it's contributed to my level of education, when we're required to do experiential learning, and that's going out into the community and applying what we've learned at UCF in our day-to-day -day lives. So I actually ended up becoming a volunteer for the Orlando Diocese Anti-Human Trafficking Task Force by way of my minor in Women and Gender Studies. It's opened my eyes tremendously about uh, needs that are here in the community that I can start serving. So that's one of the things that I have UCF to thank for had it not been for that course. So that I'm most appreciative of. Having online classes actually allows me time to get out there and get actually some network connections figured out. I've met people even just here at my own place of work who have connections within the entertainment industry that I'm honestly planning on leveraging as soon as I graduate from here. Being able to access my courses whenever, be it at after I've just come off of work and want to be able to review something or at 2.30 in the morning scrambling for an exam that's in six hours, it's there, it's available, and I don't have to worry about it judging me for just checking the same thing 15 times over. It's there, it's supportive, and well, <laughs> it's just there for me. The online program has been huge for me and my family. I really like the flexibility of being able to do the work when it's best for me. And in the long run, I'll have this degree to help catapult me into my next level of my career. Thank you so much for allowing me the freedom and flexibility to pursue higher education, to be valued, to feel valued, to be heard as a student, and to be given limitless potential and opportunity. Thank you.